National Night Out 2017 got off to a traditional start with the parade of emergency vehicles, but things wouldn't remain that way. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. More in a moment. Also this week, more on the blended retirement system. This week, information for those in mid-career. News from Army Community Service, plus the Army Field Band Summer Concert is coming up. These stories and more, but first, every year, police departments across the country set aside one special night to promote and enhance the relationship between police and the local community. Over the years, National Night Out at Fort Meade has grown into an award-winning event with dozens of local partners and thousands of community members. This year, for the first time anyone could remember, Fort Meade's National Night Out was cut short because of the weather. Things started normally enough with the parade through base housing, Corby is grilling up the refreshments, dozens of participants setting up their displays, but just as the event was gearing up, the skies opened up. And because of the heavy rain, wind, and lightning, event organizers were forced to cancel. But even as the cancellation was announced, police department officials posted on Facebook that plans for the next National Night Out would begin soon, and that they're determined to make National Night Out 2018 a, quote, blowout event, end quote. In other news, the summer is winding down, but there are still opportunities to obtain motorcycle safety training. The training is mandatory for any service member that wants to ride on a military installation. There are three types of classes, the basic rider course, the experienced rider course, and the military sport bike course. The basic rider course is for beginners and anyone that's been riding with learner's permit, have some riding experience, and would like to obtain additional skills in a secure environment away from traffic. The experienced rider course is designed for licensed, experienced riders who have attended the basic course and want to sharpen their skills. The military sport bike course is a next level training class designed for experienced riders that ride sport bikes. You must have completed either the experienced or basic rider course. Again, it's mandatory for military sport bike riders. For more information, contact the Installation Safety Office at 301-677-2396. On our last show, we aired the first of three videos recently released by the Department of Defense detailing the new blended retirement system that goes into effect in January. On the last midweek, we aired a video aimed at those at the end of their careers. This week, news for those in mid-career. Legacy versus blended retirement. Which retirement system is right for you? Imagine this represents the path of your military career and retirement. On the left is the legacy retirement system. On the right, the new Blended Retirement System, or BRS. The legacy system has served the DOD well since the late 1940s. BRS, however, provides additional options to attract and manage a military force in an evolving global economy. It goes into effect in January 2018. Let's see how the two systems compare as we approach the mid-mark of your career path. Under the Legacy Retirement System, you may have been contributing to your Thrift Savings Plan, or TSP, and earning returns on that investment, but there have been no matching government funds. And if you leave the service today, you don't have any government retirement benefit to take with you. With Blended Retirement, the TSP is a part of your retirement plan, and the government has been providing automatic and matching contributions up to 5% of your basic pay. Plus, you have likely been earning returns on that investment too. Between 8 to 12 years of service under BRS, you'll be offered something called continuation pay, an incentive or bonus of sorts of at least two and a half times your basic monthly pay. And if you're in the National Guard or Reserve, at least half a month's basic pay as if you were on active duty, in exchange for a commitment of at least three more years to Uncle Sam. There's no continuation pay with the Legacy Retirement System. The continuation pay incentive from BRS requires an additional service obligation, but it does not commit you to 20 years and it doesn't reduce your retirement pay if you decide to stay to 20 years. But it can be an attractive bonus in the middle of your career if you are wondering whether or not to continue serving to 20. Legacy versus Blended Retirement. Which retirement system is right for you? Finally, this week, the United States Army Field Band, based right here at Fort Meade, spends hundreds of days on the road touring every year. And every year, they also take time out to perform for the local hometown crowd. The signature of the Field Band's summer concert is Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, complete with cannon fire. If you haven't had the opportunity to witness it, you won't want to miss it. The concert is coming up Saturday, August 19th at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great mead week.